Hello everyone and welcome back to my European Space Agency RP-1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We are going to launch a crew to our station and leave them there for 90 days. And during those 90 days we are going to have to take care of our Mars missions arriving. Uh, one will be actually trying to land on the surface, one will be trying to land on the surface of Phobos, and then we have the Mars tug and then a Deimos mission. Uh, I forget which one is actually the Phobos and Deimos mission, I might have got them mixed up. Uh, not that there should be any difference between the two, but we'll see. Uh, so yeah, first one we'll actually be trying to land, and hopefully it's not going to be too different than the previous one. So, but first we have to launch our crew to the station, so let's get on with that. And we are going to have three per the requirements. And I forget which three I'd sent before, so we're just going to send these because they're ready to go. The training doesn't take any time for the missions uh, for the Mark II cockpit, they haven't Change that. I haven't updated the mods in a little bit though. Okay, well it seems like we're pretty close to inline right now, which is good. That means we'll be landing in daylight. I think. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem too far off. Is it gonna get? Better? Uh, it's getting worse. Okay, let's let's go. SAS on. Throttle's not working. Uh, I do have Unity up, so it's fair. Okay, and ignition. We have all our engines and go. I still haven't taken off the little Vernier engines off of the stack there. They aren't useful. Alright, all is good as we're through max Q. I actually gotta shut them down, I think. Ready to enable the space plane's engines, which help with the balance a lot more. And get the enable crossfeed there. Oh, I've got to. I've got to limit G forces there. Okay, well, it looks balanced right now. Note the offset position of the Vulcane for this purpose. Really, the priority of the top tank should be higher. I mean, a lower. This one should be higher. I think we've got that reversed. Okay, well, it's getting wobblier now. Gotta activate. Uh, not those. Some RCS thrusters. And off goes the volcano stage. So we were able to use all of it. It was getting wobbly though. Yeah, interesting to note, uh, you can see that we'll end up with a fair amount of Delta V once we get to orbit. We also have potentially a tail tank here that we don't use, and also potentially wing tanks. And so this was configured to maybe be able to get itself to the moon, but what it does after that is a little bit difficult. More likely, we could launch it to the moon with some other booster, uh, some other stage, and then it could get itself back, was the goal. So it would capture around the moon, break orbit, and then slow down enough so that it could hit the atmosphere safely. That part is important, slowing down so it can hit the atmosphere safely. But that's a stretch goal, and the purpose for it is a little bit vague right now since we don't have like any program that involves repeated trips to the moon. I mean, especially if it didn't have to use so much propellant just getting itself into orbit. It was launched on a larger rocket, like a regular Arcturus. It could do quite a few things. Okay, we might as well cut it there. So, 247-ish by 212. And the station is all the way around. So, we'll just catch up to it in this direction. And hopefully we have two of the same fuel cell this time. 
Oh, this is the old one. We we launched uh, the one that had already been built before. We, we may never launch the one that has the two shuttle fuel cells. Oh well. It depends if we have a purpose for it. Right now it's not clear that we do. Okay, well, let us do the final rendezvous burn here. didn't get us as close as I would like, but we can probably refine that. Okay, 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 just stop, stop. Okay, now approaching. Come on, come on, come on, uh, come on, come on, connect. It's gone all wobbly here. Come on. It's just sliding around across the docking port. I think Smart ASS might have been counteracting it, but... Now what's going on? Oh, come on. <laughs> We gotta turn RCS off. I turned RCS off. Okay, is it the station? I don't understand. I don't see the stations firing either. Well, that didn't work out somehow. Okay, finally we're connected. All right, all right. Well, they have to stay here for 90 days. Now, we've got the crew duration record of 90 days as a reference, so we'll use that. But otherwise, we're going to be turning to other things. So, yeah, we'll hope that it works. But I'll sort of log it. It's two years and 356 days right now. We'll leave them here until three years and 90 days. Uh, with, so buff, there's buffer. And as far as supplies go, they have 167 days of food, 190 days of ox water, 182 days of oxygen, one year and 69 days of nitrogen, plenty of lithium hydroxide. Uh, who knows how the liquid hydrogen is going to boil off in here, though. That is one thing. Uh, we'll try and do something, maybe? I don't know what kind of science. Uh, if we were doing the contract, we would probably have to like redo some science or something like that. But, or maybe we could send another science module up. That's another possibility. But for now, it's okay. I mean, since we can't pick up that contract anyway. And yeah, twelve percent radiation for Mohammed. We've sent him up quite a few times. Okay, so they should be okay, and we can turn to our Mars missions in theory. Okay, so we're here with a lander, and it seems to be a lot higher up than I anticipated. I mean, 8,972 kilometers? How did we leave it like this? I don't know. So, I could have sworn we would have brought it closer, but... Alright, so we'll use some of the Delta V. Oh, 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 it's gotten imbalanced for some reason. Why are you imbalanced? We have, well, about the same signal strength as we did before. Let's see which direction. We probably want to flip around to the opposite side of Mars. And that'll be the daylight side as well, so that's good. We'll just kill rotation here. Okay. Uh, okay, it's a bit imbalanced for some reason. That's going to be bad coming down. We're not expecting it to be imbalanced. <laughs> I mean, uh, why would it, why would you guys be imbalanced? Because you guys have different thrust. You guys are tilted enough to compensate for that, surely. Well, well, we'll do it in bursts so that the 
RCS can handle it. Okay. Well, we're expecting 56 again, I think. I don't know what biome we'll end up in. Probably, with my luck, we'll end up in the same place. I don't know, probably be Midlands, but... We're lucky we'll end up somewhere else. Okay, okay. Uh, 56.5 is fine. We'll keep it rotating. Okay, everything looks set as far as the parachutes are concerned. We are doing all the science and hoping that we're in a different biome. Okay, let's go over there. We'll take the solar panels in once we get close. Okay, time for solar panels. Twenty four per cent wear and surface retro. Now we're expecting to capture but not come down on this pass actually, so uh, being over the Midlands right now doesn't mean anything. We are testing that this is a good altitude to capture and not come down. That's important for future missions. That's an interesting well that's weird. Seems like some of the old terrain is clipping through or something. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. Curious. It almost looks like water. Do I have water on Mars here? That'd be fancy. We're going up already, but we have captured. Um, well, I've, I've, I may have a Mars problem as far as potentially having water here. I don't know what's going on. Or maybe that's just an atmospheric effect. I don't know. This is not the Mars I was looking for. Now I installed things via CCAN. I didn't use my usual set of visual stuff. I just installed things through CCAN. So... Yeah, maybe I should just copy my usual version of RSS visual enhancements instead of whatever CCAN put in. Well, at this altitude, it seems like it's because uh, the altitude was like in a transition zone there, maybe? I don't know. Because the terrain that was clipping through is more like the space terrain. Okay, well, I don't have any problem. That periapsis might be a little bit too high, but we'll see. Mm. 21 hours. Do we have enough charge for that? Or do we need the panels out? I think we need the panels out. Okay, that should have us coming straight down. Oh, well, yeah, have some weird clippy thing going on there. Some height must be set incorrectly. We got a temperature scan flying high over the Midlands. Uh, I really didn't want to be over the Midlands. We could have tried targeting something else because we had captured into orbit. We could have like stayed in orbit and waited and tried to aim at something, but... Uh, there's just so much Midlands anyway. We'd have to have a much more precision system in order to really hit something. Using half of our pitch right now. I didn't think it was imbalanced. Well, Midlands it is. Hey, drug shoots are out. Main shoots are out. Got another temperature scan. Uh, 
Got some sideways. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. All right, we have landed again, but it's Mars Midlands again. So I don't think we're getting anything new here. Alas, but anyway, we demonstrated that we could do it. And so all is well as far as that's concerned. And we'll get the solar panels out just for the heck of it. Certainly the Phobos and Deimos missions will be landing on something new. All right, so back to Space Center. Okay, so here we are with a potential Phobos lander, and it is in Mars SOI. 3,147 kilometers is our periapsis right now, so that's too high. In this case, we have to go around this way, because otherwise we wouldn't be going in the same direction as Phobos, but this suits us fine. The periapsis is on the Earth-facing side, so that's no problem. We do want to get a little bit closer, though. Okay. That will do nicely. Let's point back at the sun, and then we'll go to periapsis and capture. But the periapsis and ascending node should have been closer together. We'll capture at the ascending node. It's better that way. That will require a bit of a radial thing to the capture, though. Okay, so we'll do that, and that will keep our periapsis safe, hopefully. Okay, ignition. Okay, captured. Well, actually not quite captured. It did the camera turn to fool me, but... Well, no, I think it would have been captured, yeah. And... It's probably good enough. We'll leave it there. So we are like that. Our descending node isn't exactly where I wanted it to be, but... We'll uh, manage it. I don't want to have too long an orbit, so that's why... I'm, pro I'm combining more than I ought to. But it's just a lander for Phobos, so it'll probably be alright. Okay, there we have a little potential approach. It's a nice tight orbit. Not super inclined with Phobos anymore. And it cost us 878, so we will do that. Tons of Delta V in these things. I should have put a docking port on them so that they could dock with the tug to put their fuel into it. But it might still take a lot to get the orbit down to Phobos's orbit, but probably not that much. I think we'll still have some extra. Okay. So we do that, and then down there. Better start the science out, just in case I forget. I'm just going by that closest approach distance right now. Maybe these markers will tell me. Okay. Okay, we have a Phobos encounter. Okay. Do I want to turn to face the sun, or should we just hold on here? Uh, I should turn. Oh, it does throw us off, of course. Phobos encounters are a little bit touchy. On this side, we won't be blocked by Mars, so that's good. Alright, we are in Phobos SOI, such as it is. It doesn't really have one, I don't think. I don't know. It's complicated. There's Phobos. Looking nicer than the last time I saw it, which was in an earlier version of RSS. Okay, we have made orbit around Phobos. And this is a perfect location to land. So, let's do that. Phobos space load telemetry has been transmitted. Really potato looking. I think there's only one biome for Phobos, probably for the best. Otherwise it'd be too easy to hop around, but it says Phobos' surface, so I think it's all one thing. 
Oh, there's a pit here. Uh-oh. Um, can we turn the soul panels so they don't hit the edge? Well, uh, 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 uh oh, no, 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 off. You know what? Let's retract those. Okay, <laughs> it's fine. Polis will pull us in at some point. Does have gravity, honest. I should have had um, thrusters that could push us into the surface. That would have been good, actually. I always want the thrusters that we've neglected. Okay, down I think we've landed. It's running vis uh, video imaging. Oh, we clipped into the surface. No, oh, I can't believe Phobos killed us. No, he clipped into the, first, the surface during time warp. I think we landed though. Um, I don't, I don't know if, what science we got. <laughs> Okay, well, that, that that was sort of a bonus mission anyway. All right, uh, back to Space Center. Time warping when trying to uh, get it settled on Phobos. Clearly dangerous. I think I'll do the Myers Tug and uh, Deimos mission next time, just so that we don't do too many Mars things in the same episode. So we got a crew to the station, and we did two Mars missions. We landed on Mars itself, and... I don't know if we technically landed on Phobos. We'll have to we'll have to review that one. But let's check in on Station Two and make sure that the crew's progress through the ninety days is continuing. And we have one week basically until the arrival of the next two missions. They're a little bit too close together though, so that's inconvenient. But the tug, well, both of them just need to capture first. They don't have to do anything uh, long. So it should be okay. Okay, yeah, it's going down. It's on 38 days now. Let's see how all the supplies and stuff are going. Still looking good on supplies and perpetual stuff. And stress is about 5%, but not too bad. Radiation is still what it was before. So there we have it. Uh, the crew is still on the station, and we will continue doing attempts at science around Mars next time. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.